Welcome to the beautiful game. It's Saturday, the 23rd of March, 2024. Nigeria Jalof. Ah, we must chop Jalof today. Sam, uh, Toyosi, great to have you guys. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, good morning, Mike. Good morning, Sam. Mm. You know, uh, good morning to our viewers at home. We're eating Jalof this morning. Ah, not true. I suppose bring Jalof. Uh, no, no, no. Seriously, no. We, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's just like two days into it, but they defeated the uh, young, uh, young, uh, young uh, Falcon and then. I just, uh, you know, but the, the big one, that's all that's we're going to talk about. It's a, but it's a friendly game. It's, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no. There's never a friendly game against Ghana. Uh, it uh, 18 years now, we've not been defeated against since 2006. Wow. So yesterday was the first time oh, we defeated them. Oh, it, was, it was close to white. Yeah. That was big. That was big. You know, just before we go into the Nigeria Ghana discussion, we showed you that clip here talking about managers or players who are now managers. Uh, that's because uh, the rumor mill has it that. Bayern might just not be fully interested, or maybe Xabi Alonso has rejected Bayern Munich and would probably go for Liverpool. And so now we're looking at uh, managers or players that we saw, that we've seen play, who are becoming managers now. Of course, uh, there's Mikel Ateta. Uh, Pep Guardiola, of course, was a player, but we're yeah. talking about the more recent ones now. People who are still in their late Stevie 30s, Steve, Stevie G, Frank Lampard, uh, even Vincent though company. Vincent Company, you know, even though it's not so easy. but. What I what looking at the players and looking at their level of success as managers, is there anything that would show you from the player's career that this person will be an excellent manager? Let's take a look at all of them: Zidane, Alonso, Xabi, Xavi, yeah. and then look at how. So let's look at their managing career and their playing career. Was there anything in their playing career that showed that these people will become excellent managers? Okay, so let's look at the ones that. Uh, Relatively successful, yeah. Shabi won a lot with Assad and then coming to Barcelona, he's already won the league with Barcelona. Mm. So, uh, just look at that. Who are the managers he played under? Rijkaard, Pep Guardiola, those are the recent two managers okay. he played. Play, you can look at that. There is a philosophy, mm. and especially coming from La Masia, he was totally all of that. Yeah. Joined the team, I mean, joined La Masia at the age of six or seven, and then was there all through his career before he decided to move to Qatar. So, there is, there is that element that there's a lot of drop in him. And then you look at his play. I keep saying that Xavi is that one player that determines how the two sides play football. Mm. It's no, not this, how his own side play. He no, decides how the opposite. opponents are going to play Pay football. He decides, he controls the midfield every time, whether with Spain, whether with Barcelona, whether he starts the game or he comes in. If he wants the match to move fast, it dictates it. If he wants it to be slow, it so that is that. a point so all of how that, good he can be as a manager. Yes, all of that for him as a person. Then you look at the managers that he played under, and you infuse all of it. Then it looks like hey, he's going to be a good manager. And Qatar showed that they're coming to Barcelona. To Barcelona. And also to talking about Javi, mm -hmm. he has said he wants to leave Barcelona in the yeah. season. But now Barcelona are looking like, look, he's actually doing well. Let's be really serious. This guy won a league. He won the super. And he won the super. And then yes, some crisis is happening. Is that enough? To let this guy go because it seems like Xavi uh, responded to pressure. Like, look, okay, people are talking about the team not playing well, I'm tired, or something like that. But where can Barcelona at this point for managers who are available? Which who's, 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 well, who are the uh, you, know, you know, it's a thing of Barcelona in an economic crisis, yes, and um, they are not a team that will always want to second, uh, settle for second position. That's why the fact that okay, they are, they are currently second, eight points behind Real Madrid, and that is still considered a bad season. Mm. You're not competing with I mean, Real Madrid. And Barcelona's style of football is you play, uh, Wait, you know. But Barcelona, they don't come out Girona. You know. Barcelona are second. Barcelona are eight points, mm. eight points behind the Real Madrid now. Mm. And then we have about nine games to go in the uh, in, in, in La Liga. So uh, that nine point, that eight points now, if Barcelona should win straight three games and Real Madrid, which is, might not be possible, of course, it might not be possible. But for me, I think Xavi did not respond to criticisms for it. For me, what he did was just. Okay, I don't want to stain my clothes. I'm going to leave at the end of the season. And also, he has taken pressure away from the players. No, no, no. He has taken pressure away from the players. Because the press don't, the press don't I, I, say anything. I think it's just a lot of noise about it. This is it, what footballers deal with, what uh, managers deal with. And for managers, sometimes it can be crazier than footballers. Mm -hmm. They get to manage footballers. They get to manage the administrators of the, of the, club. Of the club. And also the fans. Then, this the so-called press. The, the press. So for footballers, probably they might not. Footballers are not playing, they blame the manager. Uh, <laughs> administrators are not making enough money, no. they blame the manager. Administrators are, are not... They are, they are, they are, they are so not guys, you guys know what happens here. We'll keep up quite a very interesting discussion. We'll just take a very, very short time. I don't go anywhere. We'll be back. When we come back, the phone lines will be open. And you can call and be a part of the show.
All right, welcome back. Uh, the phone lines are open. The WhatsApp uh, number is open. We're talking about managers who are getting into uh, Nigeria, Ghana, like you just saw. Uh, 002, that's on WhatsApp, 0815247. You can send in your numbers, uh, your messages on WhatsApp. And then our phone line, 0902-416-3440, 0810-764-1679. Okay, but uh, I, want, I want to bring it down to Jabi Alonso, one of the major regions who are talking yes. about this. Uh, there's talk now that uh, Bayern wants to go for Antonio Conte and all of that. Jabi Alonso, looking at him, if he does choose Liverpool, or which is the best for him? There's Liverpool and Bayern. Madrid are not in the question because they said they might need him, but Ancelotti had just signed a new contract. contract. So at least Ancelotti will be there for two more years. Yeah. And he looks prepared to receive Mbappé. So the most likely destinations are Bayern or Liverpool. What would be the best option for Xabi Alonso? Where do you think he should go? And where do you think he, as a person, can uh, perform or get results the best? Okay, so let's look at what we just tried to do with Xavi. Mm. Xavi Alonso. Uh, started from uh, Real Madrid to Society. Okay, just before you go on, Sunday's on the line. Sunday didn't allow us to, yeah, <laughs> to say anything before I picked up. Hello, Sunday. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Well, Sunday went back to Saturday. Ah, Sunday. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Okay, today is Saturday. But <laughs> maybe that's why Sunday is not believing. That's why Sunday is not, not collecting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, okay. I then uh, moved to Liverpool. Everyone can remember his career with Rafa Benitez. Then yeah. comes back to uh, uh, Madrid. And then you look at that. With the Ancelotti, I think. Um, Explain on that with Mourinho. Oh, yeah, they play the same. Explain on, on that Pep. Uh, uh, Pep. And then you, in the national team, with Luis Aragones, mm. uh, with Vincent De Bosque. Mm -hmm. So he's played under some very good managers. You look at him as a footballer as well. He is also a very good, not just a very a brilliant, a, very brilliant player. Our goes. Is this at uh, Liverpool? I cannot forget. Mm. I cannot forget. He's pairing with Luis Garcia sometimes, and then uh, Steven Gerrard just right in front of them can be very, very beautiful to watch. And all of that, and it took his time. Went down to Society to go and start coaching the young side. Yeah. It took his time. Took his time very well before he got this job. Oh, and yeah. I think that there was even a time that he was being treated. Before he went Wasn't to. Uh, coach by Lenny, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday is back. Hello, Sunday. No Sunday, we will not pick your call again. We don't have Saturday night. They call this day. <laughs> Sunday. All right, go ahead. So that's it's a time that he has taken, and then now with uh, everyone is just seeing the results right now. But this guy has taken about 15, the 20 process. years, and then you play under some of the br most brilliant managers, and then you've learned all of that. You imbibe into what you do. He plays three man defense. That is not a Spanish way. No, no. You cannot see any Spanish. Uh, it's not the Spanish way, but he is a very, very interesting and interesting. His win backs yes. have some of the highest number of goals and assists. <laughs> between, goal between, between the two of them. Both of them. <laughs> between them. Between the two of them. Frim Pong. Uh, uh, and uh, I think 11 assists. The only guys that has scored more. Gr Grimado. The only guy that has scored more is Victor Boniface. He's uh, injured. Boniface has scored more. More than the two. Then Patrick Schick. Only those two. No, Patrick Schick has six goals. So I'm telling you, only guys that have scored more is Victor Boniface. The two winger and the top, second and top, uh, uh, top scorer. So now we are saying that Trent now. You don't show so for Trent. The thing is that for a Spanish player playing three-man defense, that's uh, is usually it's an unusual. Italian thing. Mm -hmm. But then but the he has made his best. own very more entertaining, very more the tiki taka uh, style, style of, three style of, uh, of a Spanish side, but in a different way. So and coming somebody, to Liverpool, it will be a very beautiful one. But there won't be any get get pressing anymore. No, no, no. There there definitely, it's a new philosophy. But then there's something to build on. There's already something we know about Trent Alexander mm. Arnold. He can do that wing back row. And Robertson. Mm. Robertson can also no, do that wing back row. Back row yeah. If he's to do that, yeah. there's a Konate. There's Virgil Van Dijk. These are guys stable. So Robert imagine a Konate, Kwanza. Van Dijk, and Kwanza. <laughs> so you are ready. No, think about it. I think Ekonate, Van Dijk, and Kwanzaa. And that young Kwanzaa, yeah. yes. And they actually... If three of them stay... They are, they are both playing defenders. So That's what I'm saying. Very easy for if them. Van Dijk, Konate, Kwanzaa, a Robertson, and Trent. Then you have your... But that thing will have to be too. So both line in midfield. Yes. Vataro uh, Yando, Makalista. That's it. You need... Uh, but you need... But so you need, he's got two forwards. It will only be two forwards. It's not a problem. No, no. Because Salah if might be going. If you are, if so Salah it might be two forwards. If you want to play midfield three, Wataro, Endo, and... I don't know how you want it. Then yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, there are the players on ground for Liverpool also fit in that style. fitting into whatever he what is. he wants to do. That's if he comes to Liverpool. Mm. Uh, but I also have my fear because uh, uh, Liverpool is a bigger, bigger, bigger thing, more, much more pressure. Yes, pressure. we've seen with uh, with the what he's doing right By now uh, with uh, Leverkusen that this is a guy that can withstand pressure. Yes, 
on beating. So if he does it, if he does, may I say that? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. won't get If he does that on beating, it won't get that gold title. It will Baba, there's something it will do to you. I know what I'm telling you. The psyche. The psyche. You, there is something to do to you as a because he, he has been in a situation where they've been really down. At their times, I mean, they've been two goals down. Yeah, they came back. Karabakh, they, they, they did Karabakh, Karabakh twice. They did Karabakh twice. You understand? Look at Karabakh. Oh, man, anyway. Two goals very late in the in game. In fact, he has had so many players injured at different times. The team steps uh, up. Even I, during, the AFCON, during the AFCON, during the AFCON, he lost two of his uh, starting center backs in Edmonton, and Soba and Odilo Kosunu. Mm -hmm. Both of them were in the AFCON yet. He didn't lose any game throughout that time. And that time Primpon also was, was also out. when Boniface also was injured. Primpon was out and he had to play Nathan 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 Seller was at the right wing back. back. And that one also was scoring goals. Like, I don't know if it's... If in it's that Leverkusen goal. side, he's been able to build experience and uh, uh, youth. In Jonas Hoffman, you've got an experience. Bimano in Radeki, who is the goalkeeper, <laughs> a very uh, experienced. And in Florian Verse, a 20-year-old, is also doing well. experience and theater so, talent. In Patrick Schick, who has played yeah. almost everywhere, it's but not everybody. He, he has gone to Italy. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, he has played in Italy more. Guys, how you go on there? Ajala put up something, and maybe we, we will have five or ten minutes to talk about what Ajala said. Ajala from John says, "I'm surprised you guys are talking about managers that play football without making excuses for sports presenters' favorite coach, Mourinho." He says, "Please try and look for excuses for him as usual." I'm still wondering what Mourinho is giving sports presenters in Nigeria. <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. no they, 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 they like his record. Him. His they, record speaks for him. So yes, oh, you might be. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Sam, Sam. In the last three years or so, he maybe. Has it, yeah, so sometimes you cannot be able to justify that. But what he has done. Post no. the last four years or I, so. Let, let me say something. something let me say something about this, Angela. To... Let me say something about Mourinho. Yeah. It's a As, case of. I, I just want to say. Okay. Uh, Giovanni Trapattoni. Yes. A lot of people still rate him very high. But uh, maybe the last ten years of the man's not career, nobody, not nobody wanted. Yeah. But what he has done with legacy, the, yes. the legacy that that's matters. That's all. For, for Angela, that's all. For, for me, like Mourinho is about legacy, and that's legacy. why I mean people try to make excuses for him because the recent people try to want to run him down, and people feel like this man has done so much. So based on at the end of or when all of this is done, he's, he's up there. He's up there with the best of all time. He's in his early sixties, but <laughs> yeah, I know he might be in his early sixties. No, but you know football is beyond. I mean, football coaching, you can you can decide. Okay, I'm not coaching. Yeah, no, but the football you said. How many like coaches? Is done. Uh, wait, how many coaches? Don't how many coaches get to seventy? Uh, well, well, how many? Well, just left. No, nah, no, no. Why ended? Why ended? They wanted to sack Rodri, but they were like, no, we don't. They were so just say, see, may come up by itself. If as a Wenger had left after the last FA Cup has now won. Yeah. He would have been held in highest team. So my this. point is that, but but I, but, I, but, I, but let me tell you something. As much as people talk about Moreno, there's no team that is serious about moving forward that will hire Moreno now. No, 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 no. Fact. No, 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 no. Let me tell you, no team is way past that is serious way past now. It, yeah. Because, look, let me tell you, at the beginning of his, Moreno is doing things that he never did at the beginning. Moreno studied psychology. And I've told you, and we discussed about this before, that when you, what, what into, do? when you get into football as it were, when you get to the thick of things, it's more or less, you Psych. are basically psyching Psych. players up. There's a point when, when, um, when you, you enter, tactics and everything don't go. Now you're going to sack. Um, this is somebody who never, I'm telling you, in the early days, Moreno never called out players. Yeah. He never, but look at what happened in Roma. He had to drop the gifts that he got back and call the players, uh, whatever, traitors. There's, no, there's this guy that he called out, um, I don't know why. I can't remember, but called, no, 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 no. He called one boy out that he had to send him out of the team, removed him from the team also. Mm. Uh, that that yeah, was the drop. Uh, I was like, on a normal day, Carl you will not see yeah. <laughs> Pateta come out. Even if you've seen, okay, so, so what happened with Abomeyang? Mm. Pateta still didn't come out to castigate Abomeyang. It was until after he had left that he could not control it anymore. Yeah, that he came out to talk. Yeah. But when you when you have a player on your books, okay, that is the work of the manager. See what Shabby is doing. When you were blaming Lewandowski, Very true. simply people, the players are not playing well. He actually said he will resign at the end of the season. And then look at the pressures of the players. They've not lost this year. I mean, look at club. They've not lost. You know how many times Nunes will do? Every he will take Trent. the game. Is it Trent? Trent will, Trent will, will defend so, the, so, but Mourinho, it's, it's, it's just shocking how far he has fallen. Mourinho gets to the point and starts calling out players individually. And says, oh, they lost this man, this player, this player done what he should have done. What? They Mourinho? will never play for you again. Guy, they against in Lampard. Drogba, Terry, Moreno, these people were gods. Moreno, Moreno would never say, what are you? Moreno call out any of these people. And they were not, they didn't come as super as they are. So that's it for Moreno. But uh, guys, let's head over to uh, Nigeria versus Ghana. Let's talk about that because our time is fast spent. Uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, of course, yesterday, 
uh, defeated the Black Stars of Ghana. It was a 2-1 win for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Goals by uh, uh, Cyril Dessas, of course, scoring that first goal, that penalty that you see there. Uh, who scored? Who scored that second uh, goal? Ademola Lukman. Ademola Lukman scored the second goal. See that and sweet course, beauty up to the goal. Yes, yeah. and then Ghana, Ghana of course, equal, uh, got a, a goal with uh, uh, this thing. Yeah, the 2-1. Yeah. It should have been, been more. It should have been more. Exactly. So, let's, let's talk about the Super Eagles and the coaching position. Is this a good audition for Fini Di George? Yeah, for me it is. I know you might want to... No, you, 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 you don't want to agree with me. You're already smiling, Sam. But in all honesty, you know this is a very good audition for Fini Di George. I saw the game, and I've seen how this man, you know, you know, executed the game. He played a 3-5-2 formation. Mm -hmm. At, at, at AFCON, this could have been our formation, yeah? Where Kelechi Nacho will be the link between the attack, and then he will be explained as, as the number eight. In Yesterday, game. we had a three-man defense. Tamino, that was a very, you know, a very risky, uh, yeah. a very risky... Um, I mean, Nemo, you know, uh, he, he, that, that was playing for Benel Insurance. He brought mm. him on as the centre-back. Alongside them, Ajayi with um, who did he was play? Was three, three of them at the back, mm. and then now played Bright or Sai Samuel, that guy that last box. Then um, this. Uh, oh, we supposed <laughs> to talk about that, you know? Terms of four. This was uh, uh, Fenabachi. Fenabachi. The guy bunch box, a bunch of like this. Ah! They, 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 there's a mura of him outside. There's, there's a mura, legend. <laughs> Le ah! That's supposed to be what they just remember now. I go find way. <laughs> Don't be grabbed up. So, so, so he, he didn't use the what's his man's name. Uh, Bruno, Bruno has yeah, said, he could have done this at AFCON. I mean, it was um, uh, Pesero. <laughs> but, Pes you know, sometimes I look at, does um, the head coach, I mean, the head coach, does he listen to the assistants? Because Finidi was saying that at AFCON, Osimhen was running alone, tirelessly up front. So yeah, now, he, he what, what he did work? He, what did he work? Okay, no, you know what? He you know worked, what? but at a point in time, so Wobi, Wobi said something yesterday on his podcast that I watched. He said that he was given the job so of, you know, mamaking and making sure that he does not play forward passes. Always just pass it to the right, pass it to the left. And if, in, 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 said, in that final, they had mamaked him, Seko Fofana, Casey had pinned all of them down. So there was nothing they could do. Okay, Even you know we, uh, uh. Guys, we'll pick up on this, this talk about it. We'll be, let's take a very, very short break now. When we come back, it's the second half of the show. Welcome back. And, um, well, uh, that was England in training, getting set and all of that, putting together the team spirit. We'll get to that. Let's just run up with the Super Eagles. Uh, so you mentioned Wobi and uh, the, 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 the instructions he was given. You know, but we're looking at it now. Let me just take this, qu uh, this question from uh, Olaito, Olaito Agbede in uh, Ikorudu, who says that, um, he said, please, guys, clarify this. It was announced that it was Austin and Guavon that will be the interim manager of the Super Eagles. Why is it now Finidi George in charge of friendly matches? God bless you guys in the studio. Uh, well, Tosi, can you pour some light it on It wasn't that? announced. Um, just last we were saying before we came on air, it is na it's natural for the technical advisor of um, the NFF, of any, of any club, to step into that role. You, you guys might be seeing in the NBF, you're saying um, they've appointed somebody technical advisor, somebody as coach. Yes, they have different roles. It is tec technical advisor or technical, technical director that's in charge of, you know, the pattern of play, the kind of players they bring in. But they can also coach. They also hold coaching license. So in case, of, in case of emergency, they come on board. And that is why, naturally, after the contract of um, Iguamin, uh, Pesero ended, he so came on board. Yeah, but the NFF did not announce. Hmm. So did, that's there's no official so it was more announcement. Like propaganda also to push that man back into that role. So. You being the head coach, you are more popular, and then there's a way you can... But Fridi George has been assisting as Pesero. Yeah, assisting Pesero. 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 Then oh, okay. he has been decided, okay, let him... Let him just lead. Lead you for these two friendly team. matches as interim coach. All right, all right. I hope that was able uh, that that we're able to answer that particular question. So, uh, based on what we didn't get to watch the match so much, I see managed to see this elite part of the second half. I went to watch the streaming, but they're not trying to do. I changed it. It was not broadcasted by any any distance. Any, it was you know? just the Ghana FA that okay, did so we, exactly. So me, I, I really can't say much. I didn't see anything about that match. But uh, maybe Mali, we might see. Yeah, we, Hopefully, we, we see, see some, Mali. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, yeah, Mali. Yeah, uh, uh, the same is uh, happening in the same uh, venue. Uh, there in Marrakesh, uh, the same place. Mokwa there, investing, yeah. to be honest. Okay, so, I, I was just telling Mike before he came on there that I wish I was, was I was just there not too long ago. And yeah, we'd true, to, yes. We'd have loved to be there. Come back. To see this again. Yeah. Uh, it's like a four-nation or nation tournament. It's a very beautiful. Country. It is, it is. And they are Fine women. It is. 
Don't worry, <laughs> we, are, we are going to have connections. So, very fine Rab women. Uh, at least I was in Rabat, Casablanca, and Marrakesh, and I saw all the three cities. It's weird. I thought that women are fine. And, 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 so that you very and, beautiful. Fine women. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they be like Saudi, they be like Saudi, then get lost. I'm sure it's uh, there. They get lost. Then get lost. So, you know, if you don't go there, you don't push it. But half one go there, then go reduce it. If they catch you, eh? Half half one day, then I go go. So, see how it will be. All right. Uh, the match against Mali is another uh, avenue, but I'm, what I, I'm happy with with this team, just, and yeah. it's not just about the, the fact that we need it, it's Ghana. Yes, we must win. And I'm sure... Uh, <laughs> we don't win Ghana in 18, uh, eight, 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 18 years. Finish his dog nose. But knows. then, we were still able to do some experiment with that lineup. With that lineup. Benjamin, uh, Benjamin yeah. Tanimu is a very, very risky one, in the sense that he's a relative, he's, he's just getting his first invite. The, he left the MPFL not too long ago to move January. to Tanzania. So he was still relatively new to anybody. But according to Finidi, he's a guy he that he knew. Yeah. Uh, that he was pursuing. He buy me he was, when he was an Imba coach, he wants to get so I like You know why I like what, 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 what happened? That means that the coach is giving a free hand. Even yeah, though it's, it's even giving, if he was giving a free hand match. for that game. But you see, these are my own people. And every coach should have their own players. I was surprised. I know. This person. Job, yeah. I mean, that's why. So you don't just carry the whole team that you saw from the last time. I, I was surprised look. he benched most, some of the big names. Of course. Even Luke Man did not start. He brought Luke Man in. Oh, but then you understand. It's a friendly game. It's a friendly game. game. It's, it's the best to try them. Pesero. Pesero. But that's all. Pesero. We don't blame him. We blame Pesero. We blame Pesero for. So I think Finidi also gets that feedback that Nigerians want to see fresh faces. And he has also said... For Siri Dessas, yes, he scored a penalty, but I'm not too impressed with some of his touches. I saw the highlights. Some of his touches were for but Kelechi had a very good game. Ah, Kelechi had a Alex very will, good Kelechi game. Kelechi and Alex will be and, a and that second goal has to be talked more. I've seen the clip every. I'm sure a lot of people have well, seen that. If you don't uh, uh, the uh, pass uh, side of, right from Mwa Bali. All right, this is this football. is the final time. Sunday, this one no connect, no call. <laughs> because today is Saturday. Oh yeah, Sunday. Good morning. Ah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, Sunday. Go ahead. I said, I don't. So they don't call no. this phone again. No. I don't. I, mean, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> no, sorry about that. We're just having a listening to So, but guys, let's take a look at some results and fixtures. The international um, week. It's international uh, week and all of that. So there's quite a lot that has happened. Argentina, three. Salvador, nil. Uh, Di Maria there was uh, quite imperious, I must say. Burkina Faso, one. Libya, two. Mauritania, uh, zero. Mali, two. Morocco, one. Angola, nil. Niger, uh, one. Togo, two. Sudan, one. Guinea-Bissau, nil. Uh, Algeria, three. Bolivia, two. Comoros, four. Uganda, zero. The big one, Spain, zero. Bolivia, Colombia, one. one. <laughs> some shocking results there. Mm. Be honest. Was it shocking? No, some shocking. See, how can Burkina Faso lose? And then you see Uganda losing 4 0 to Comoros. Like, there are some results there that are not, they are not, they are not giving. Let me use the Gen Z word. Oh, well, they, they are not giving. <laughs> Colombia, Spain was there. I was hey, looking at the lineup and then what, what, what could happen there. But uh, mm. they won nil win. Uh, for you look at the lineup and, and it was uh, an error that yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. Yeah, Luis De La Fuente is it's trying to be the new team because uh, it's not that some easy. Of, some so of the guys are actually being faced out. Yeah, you say Luis still top striking, uh, even though at the well, age of 30. Morata could have oh, been the top man. nine. <laughs> So well, well, it, Morata didn't even play in the game. So it's uh, one of those things. That it's a friendly game. Friend so Everybody well, tries to turn like it. Even Paul Kubasi had, uh, yeah. uh, had a few minutes to play. Uh, even the uh, Arab man, uh, Saudi Arabia man, uh, mm. <laughs> he's been uh, Laporte. Is, Laporte. Uh, no, Laporte is still good. I think he just went for money. Right. Laporte could have okay. played in Europe. All right, guys. Let's, uh, while we do that, let's move into today, which is one of our talking points. Yeah. We have Ireland, Belgium. And then we have England, Brazil. That's the major one. We saw the English team in training. That's what we'll take a look at. The Brazilian team also in training. They are getting said the match is going to be in Wembley. But guys, this is the weakest Brazilian team in my life. Accepted. Accepted. You understand? I actively, my football. Uh, let, let me talk about my football journey started with, started with Brazil as a country. One player that I would say signifies my, 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 my entrance into football is... Romario Farias, oh. USA 1994. Yeah. He was World Football of the Year that year. Romario, I remember seeing a headline, um, ubiquitous, talking about Romario. And I was like, what's the meaning of this word, ubiquitous? Who is this player? And it was shot like that with the yellow and blue. I was like, ah, oh, Romario man. Farias. There was no Google there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so after that, look at the dictionary. 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 You know, <laughs> ubiquitous, who is this player? <laughs> you know, prior to this time, of course, uh, there was a little bit of Holland at. Uh, uh, at, uh, at, uh, uh, at 1990, that's talking about Italian 90. Italian 90, and then of course uh, 88, that's the Euro Championship, yeah. when I saw a little bit. But I'll say 1994 was a big one, and from then we saw Brazilian teams that ah, they are overpacked. But you see, Cuff. it's like it don't they reduce. 
and as a present now, this Brazilian squad, they might not even qualify for a 48 team World Cup. If they qualify, they'll be going as the sixth best place team. They have to do a playoff at, the way, at where they are now. And it's still long way. Still long way. Is, but they might, I'm saying that they way. might not. Like, yeah, but it's, it's, still, it's too early. It's so, too early. But you can understand, and that's what they've been looking for. Right now, we have the river uh, as the, the new coach, and this is good. They've changed coach like game. twice. Um, it's never, it's not been working. I think they were looking at the getting Ancelotti and they were so focused on Ancelotti that they yeah. were, it really affected the team. It, it was almost way. announced uh, that it yeah. was going to come. So they, 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 there's all of that. But the river is another new coach now and he's brought in a lot of players for this. Uh, unfortunately, he has mm. also lost a lot of players yeah. to injuries. Some so of them are just pulling out because the, of their the, needs. This guy is just the star. I mean, it's oh, it, supposed to be the goalkeepers are out. Yeah. Edassi and Edassi and Edassi Alisson are Edassi. out. Uh, Gabriel Magales, the... Uh, that one. Yeah, but see, they say... You see, 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 see most of the players that, that, that opted out was more of... Injuries and effort. No, yeah, to be honest, these guys are not injured. They are <laughs> leaving because of their clubs. But wait, oh. In a team of, I'm talking in Brazil's of 2000, 2002. I this Vinicius Junior you know, go you. enter first team. No, Mike, no, no, no. I get you. You go enter first team. Mike, 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 Mike I Richard get you. Wait, Richard Lissin will not make Nigeria squad. Mike, no, Richard Lissin will not bear your back. He won't bear your back. He won't bear your back. He won't bear your back. Brazil is so bad, guys. Richard Lissin will not make Nigeria squad. Mike, but. He's not going to bear your body face. He's not even bear your second best. We've had this talk before. Richard Lissin is not going to bear your body face. There's been a drop in quality of footballers for. He dropped is too much. Yeah, so we have to work with the generation that we have at hand. The generation we have at hand, this is the generation of Brazilian footballers they have at hand. So it is left for them to do the best of it. We never know what those. We don't know what those. We are seeing Vinicius now as a star man in the team. Yes, it's also the star man in Real Madrid, but then when you're making comparisons with the Brazil guys that have Wolves. played before, then you yeah, probably yeah, wouldn't so. measure up to but, but, but it's the star man right he, now. He, he might just be Rodrigo. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> okay, Casemiro is still one of the old guard, but he's not even in this squad. But yeah, so it, it's, it's been like that. Look, <laughs> Lucas Paqueta, who never made it at Milan. He went to Lyon and then uh, now at West Ham. But this is all of this thing. Bruno Gamares is a but very good our, as well. May I tell you, say, even defense, safe. Brazil defense, they don't go up against our AFCON player of the tournament. No, 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 no. Ah. So, so, oh, wait, I'm talking about based on AFCON. No, no, based on AFCON. Based on AFCON, AFCON no, no. player of the tournament. See, oh, no, no, see, okay. But Let me tell Even last time we played Brazil uh, in 2019, they struggled against Nigeria. Yes, sir, they struggled. Against I am Senegal. Look, they struggled against by, Senegal. Uh, uh, yeah. Who's our, who's our, our best player? What's his name again? Ekong. Uh, Ekong. To stay Congo, get better Megales. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, they don't even. The best Militao. Ah, I'm not a fan of Militao. I'm telling you, with the underrated to second. I'm not. No, no, I haven't said anything. Okay, let's look at the. Let's look at the Nigerian. Let's look at the Nigerian team. 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 Let's look at they don't burn anybody where? Mm -hmm. Victor Sime, number one. We enter. We find you go enter. Because they don't have a deal. You cannot call Grumare DM. You can't call Grumare DM. Don't DM. set us up. Uh, right, okay, listen. Wait. Okay. Okay, wait. Who is the right back? Who is the right back? Through second, go enter. They don't have a right back. Danilo. Okay, I might want to put Danilo. Through second, go enter. Left back. Only keep away with the eye. Both just leave out. But one man is here, but of course, Edda Sian is the best. In the world, center back. Even Kavim left wing self. If, if Moses Simon had the correct. No, 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 Simon. Uh, look man, look man, look man. Uh -huh. look man can try. Uh -huh. yes. And on a normal day, only say it will be oh, the uh, the <laughs> will be sometimes they be like this, this, this. It will be going make. Um, but that just will be goes to show you. For this is not also one of our strongest teams. But just to let you know how how, how far no, Brazil, Brazil has fallen. We can talk about uh, the Nigerian golden generation as well, and some of those players would have got into the Brazilian Brazilian national team. Of course, I would have. Remember the Atlanta ah. Nigerians, the team, the same side that they have defeated them in that Atlanta Nigerians. See that, some that Brazil golden generation have also played in that uh, <gasps> Brazilian national. You know that right? Brazil. Yes. Yeah, Bra Brazil. Even with the Ronaldo, wasn't it the Brazil with the Ronaldo with the uh, Ronaldo? With the uh, uh, and all of that for our history, who feel best Rivado for history of Nigeria? See, I'm, no, I know we're not saying, in, I'm well, saying that some of the, uh, Nigerian that's players that's in that's 96, I fully some of our Nigerian players in that 96, okay, they guys, can enter into the guys, Brazil. Time go, but let's help our guys with some predictions for today. Of course, it will be Brazil against England. What do you think is going to happen in that match? England are looking very strong. England have one of the most exciting scores. I, for me, oh. I feel like the English manager exciting has little job win. to do. So guys, Southgate is a very cautious and conservative. Coach, coach yeah. and that's you understand? The, that's right. But wait, let, let, let's go. We've got Gift on the line from Ikeja. Hello, Gift. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Oh, brother. 
Gifts, good morning. Welcome good morning. to the show. Good morning, sir. Gifts, Gifts, go ahead. Talk to us. You're live. Um, Nigeria will beat Nigeria. Ghana. Yeah. 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 Is, it, is, it, is, it, is it PS4 or PS5? So the match has already no, been played. The match has played now. They played yesterday. Not yet. I know they played. They played yesterday, two one. Was a two one victory. I heard that Bra Brazil beat Belgium. Hmm? Okay, Brazil, England. What 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 yes. the, what's the prediction? Brazil will win. Yes. All right. Thank you, gifts. Thank you, gifts. For that match, England will beat Brazil. Let me talk out here. Put your mouth. Uh, put, your let you know. put your money. England, put your money where England your mouth is. England win under four point five. Right, so this is no. it. Uh, let's look at the record between these two sides. Yes. Uh, England has only had four wins in twenty seven. Yes, oh against, against the Brazil. Yes, that's how crazy. But remember, it is. I see the oh, they Brazil. played a lot of draws as well. Uh, so there's that, and the fact that uh, it's it's the two sides of uh, divide that loves football passionately that we cannot take from there. English fans, the Brazilian fans. In fact, it's a culture on both sides of the divide. Mm -hmm. This match is being played in Wembley, so there is a lot of pressure on these young guys, for, uh, especially for some English of fans. the youngsters that are coming in and those who are trying to stay claim. Euro is just around the corner. Some of these guys just need to show the brightest, themselves. The brightest. There's more stake right for England. Yeah, yes, of course. For them, because uh, some for me, they, I don't. I don't think that this Brazil. Maybe, can. In, maybe in that team right now, the only guys that are probably sure of getting shirts, maybe Harry Kane, Jude Bellingham, Harry Kane, Jude uh, Ford. Fordin, Pickford, Pickford. I, I, oh, yeah, no, yeah, Pickford. wait. You don't want to mention Pickford. <laughs> Who is number one? So yeah, yeah, Pickford now. Yeah, Pickford, Pickford definitely. But I'm I just looking. Maguire. Uh, yeah, Harry Maguire. However, Harry Maguire. Right, 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 so, right, probably right, those right, are the four right. players that are that you can be sure that they have a shot right, we, in that era already. All right, we've got Kyle on the line. Hello, Kyle. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Sorry about that. Investor from Sherry says Ekon can never bench Gabriel. No, no, it's of course. They, they actually don't play the same position, yeah. But, but if, if it's going to be against Militao, I would go ahead. I, I would go ahead. Okay. Because it's just the rugged, <laughs> rugged aspect. He said, Militao brings the He said, he said, no talk about the game. You see, you did Sabi on that day to see you regret. I didn't tell you. Mm. Afcon best player. Mike, I tell you, say you just won't put a. Afcon best but, but, player. But, but wait, in, 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 in all of this, in all of this, help me write. Afcon was in Indonesia. Wait, Afcon was in Indonesia. Mason Brema was in Torino. Mason Brema got a a a deal to Juventus. Afcon is right now is the best defender in Syria. Wait, wait, where did Afcon went to? Watford. From Watford, now he's playing in Greece. No, come on, stop this thing. Afcon is going old. Oh, Afcon is old already. Afcon is going old already. I think he's probably thirty four or something. Okay, but, but okay, you know guys, this. guys uh, England Brazil. Let, let's help. Let's help some guys. There. Let's help some guys that, that want to punt today. Cook. England Brazil. I want to cook. England Brazil. What do you think? Well, uh, I think both teams will score. Ah, both teams. Both will teams score. will score. Brazil, by the way, in the last eight matches, just have about ten goals. They are. They are not prolific. They've been, they've prolific. Not, they've yeah. been struggling yeah. to is score. It, is it that number nine that they have up front? That's the problem now. They've been struggling to score. So I don't even think. I, I, on yeah, a normal they might, they might score My point is that they're quite weak, and this English team have a lot to prove. They are playing in Wembley. It's home for England. Uh, and when you look at it across, Hurricane will not play. But Ivan Tony, you know what that yeah, guy can bullish. do? Yeah. It's bullish. It's so bullish. If Ivan Tony, if you fold in a youth Bellingham, oh my God, Hada Brazil. Oh. Uh, you go Hada Brazil. England do not have Saka. They do not have Kane. But a Bellingham is still. Then you have a Madison yeah. behind. If I have Madison and Bellingham in a midfield, and I put Rice behind them, Rice, Baba, know, forget. Ah, don't finish. Baba, forget. Yeah. In, but Brazil, if, you know, if, if I play, if I play Madison, game. Bellingham and Rice. Ah, no, 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 no. You go out any team. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. You go out any team. Those guys are can almost get into any any team. Madison, we know how. Madison but you know that Madison your, can get your, into your almost any team. You understand? Yes. Madison will England, play set for you. I was telling, I was telling, I was talking to you that England, the present, have about six to seven world class players that can get into almost any team. In that, their first squad. And we yeah. come from Hurricane. You come from Bellingham. Okay. You come from Rice. I come from Saka. You come from Phil Foden. Don't mention Madison. No, no, no uh, let's leave Madison. Let's just leave that one. But he comes from a few photos. And one. then you count Kai Walker. Walker yeah. yeah, Kai Walker is. So those are people that are the, almost the best in their position in the world. And who's a better right back than Kai Walker? No, no, no. Uh, come on, who's a better striker? The Haaland is still I, I, I wouldn't team. start Arnold. Than Harry I would King. not start Arnold over, uh, over, over Kai Walker. So what I'm saying is that. The the, 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 the the club as it is, they do have they do have that thing. But okay, so what are you, England Brazil? Let's take a look at the fixtures and it's those fixtures that will take a pot. Let's goals. look at Saturday fixtures. Goals, goals, goals. goals. England should win, but I think there should be goals. All right, we'll see those fixtures now. There's also Ireland, Belgium, ben the Red Devils. Belgium uh, are uh, ah, so for yeah, Belgium in Jeremy Doku and Yabakayoko. Okay, that's it. Exactly that's it. Yeah. Uh, 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 and then uh, 
You know, El Salvador had already, had already played. This was earlier. El Salvador had already played Argentina. They've lost 3 0. So today we're going to have Tunisia, Croatia, France, Germany, big one, Malawi, Kenya, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Ivory Coast, Benin, Ireland, Belgium, Slovakia, Austria, Austria, Denmark, Switzerland, England, Brazil. So England, Brazil, the boys here have gone for goals. Um, let's see, Ireland, Belgium. What? what uh, Belgium straight win for me. I don't know. Yeah, I think Ireland. that they have. Ireland can be a a, 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 a pain, a pain, yes. But uh, when you look, when I take a look at what Belgium will have from a Doku, from a Bakayoko, Luka, Lukaku, Lukaku, uh, even, even, even look back you, the, the, the Sevilla guy. If if, uh, if this guy is not playing, if uh, Lukaku is not playing, look back you can yeah. uh, top strike and also can top strike. And then you have a, 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 my my Bunga. guy. My, my right Trossard. Trossard. Yeah, Trossard. Yeah. yeah. Trossard I have my Trossard. And they, are, they actually they're beating their new kids. So. Yes, I have my Trossard. So I feel like Belgium have, well, I, because I, I love the way. Trossard is one player who, who does, who's not too flamboyant, but he does, he does he's effective. He's an old man already. So effective player. Very exciting young effective player. Coming. I think the, a new golden generation is being built. It's being built. Uh, because I remember this young guy that's right now in Atletico as, a, as well, Vamari. It's also another we'll very beautiful back. talent. We will that's come there. back after. So, uh, and I listened to an, an interview by Edias recently and he's, he's saying that, that well, was, that practically on, these yeah. guys that are coming that was on Mikhail's podcast. Yes, podcast. yes. That, these Hazard. guys that are coming will yeah, be better he, than no, he, he, Hazard, Hazard. Hazard. No, 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 no. And as as, as I said it on Mikhail podcast that yeah. he knows this, their, their own generation, generation can anything. My but he be believes better. that this guy will be their poster boy. Yeah. Um, Do Doku. Doku yeah. But for me, I still believe Doku is very much over overrated. I mean, I, mean, I, I can't have video. I will listen today. But what I'm cook Doku? He said Doku. They compare Doku to baby one. What no, is that? See, see. <laughs> uh, uh, leave, leave, leave. The video day, don't worry. <laughs> Just calm down. Let's take a look at the other fixtures that will be happening, of course, uh, today also, and uh, give you our own points here. So for uh, for Ireland, Belgium, guys, well, what are we going for? Belgium, for me. Over 2.5. Yeah, yeah. uh, Belgium, me. Lukaku, okay. Continue. All right. Sorry. All right, let's go for. He doesn't score in Roma. He scores. Okay, Denmark. <laughs> Denmark versus Switzerland. Ericsson has been complaining about his time at Manu. But Denmark, Switzerland, I think, is a very, very even tie. For me, I'll go for a draw. A draw? In that yeah, match. No, nah, yeah. um, 12 for me. 12. Okay, twelve for you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Ivory Coast, Benin. Ivory Coast. It's a party for Ivory Coast. You remember they are playing yeah. their first yes, match. Yes, man. That's it. So, so just go. Oh. They, might have, they might have Another done. They might have done their um, trophy parade, but the fans come to the stadium to watch. Yeah, so they trophy. win that match. They oh, win that match. Baba, correct one, nice one. I love uh, nice. Uh, France, Germany. Don't let's forget Genoa. Yeah, right. Hang on. Genoa is supposed to be in. We are going to play Benin Republic in June. Ah. I'm going to go for that match. Is in. Uh, we just just border. Yes. Just <laughs> cross them okay. a border. Okay. Reach. All right. France, Germany. Stop. This no, should be. The, it's supposed. It should, should be, be, but we know France how it is right now. Right. About France, it is right now. France go beat them. Just not working well for the coach. Uh, okay, uh, Julian Guzman is trying his best, but uh, it's just not working. I don't Remember understand why. Cruz, I don't understand why. Uh, but yes, yes, Cruz is back into Cruz the national team. I think that will because they don't have something. anything better. Yeah, Cruz is back into the national. Musiala is there. Kimmich is there. Yes, Cruz is there. But can they go up against arguably one of the best sides, top three, maybe even what, the best. What, what, what midfield in France? France but with what midfield do France also have to combat? Chouameni, um, Kamavinga. Kamavinga. Who else? Uh, uh, Rabiot? No. Nah. Rabiot. Huh? When it comes to pedigree, the midfield. Griezmann, yeah. Griezmann will fall back. In no, France, no. Is actually probably not going he's to He's not play. going to play. Uh, I think this is the first game he would receive. He won't play like in 24 games. Eight, no, it's an 84 games. <laughs> 84, man. Dang. He has played eight, the last France 84 games. This is the first one he's going to miss. So, so you know how crazy it is. Oh, yeah. For, for France, France Germany. Play for, for France, Germany, yeah. give him goals. Yeah, goals, of course. Goals, yes. You, you cannot play. Go but for I goals. think I have had my, my, my There might watch. be something with I this Germany team. Germany, I mean, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I say, give it goals. Because if Germany, we, we feel that they, they have that. It's, it's, I mean, these are some history. of the. These are some of the. These are football traditional powerhouses. In a word. Traditional. Yet Mola, you understand? France, traditional. Campbell, All right. Okay, guys. Uh, that's it. That's the size of the show today. Uh, it's going to be a whole slew of international matches. Of course, it's international weekend. Most countries are playing friendlies. Nigeria will be up against Mali. Uh, hopefully, we're going to win that one. I have a message for some boys. Oh, yeah. What's the message? Yeah. In all of this, please and please tell George Curtis Jones, mm. Ibrahim Chiesa. Michael yeah. Olise, three of them. Yeah. We are waiting for them. Anto <laughs> I know, Antosin. I know, Antosin. Antosin, 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 Antosin,
if we qualify for the World Cup. Uh, if, if they don't come before half next year, this you will, should forget it. It reminds me of Joshua Zexi. Uh, he, he was saying if Nigeria does If Netherlands doesn't call, call him, he's going to go. Come. Nigeria, Netherlands has Netherlands call him. Call him. So they are using it. <laughs> so no. he's not coming to Nigeria again. No, he can still come. This, this boy can't. Zexi no go play our bench. Of course. He's not rich. But there's this guy that, that, that is willing to come over now. Zexi um, no rich now. What is Fufu boy? What's his name? Adeyemi. Adeyemi, look, man. Ka so, uh, he, uh, Karim. He said, uh, Karim, he, he, he cannot go to Euros. All right. He cannot go to Euros. Then we'll guys, thank you so much. You spent so much. It's always a pleasure talking football with you yeah, guys. Man. Thank you for being a part of the show. We will see you next week. Bye-bye.